Welcome everybody to our very first video tutorial for the TruckSim Map Editor. In this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to open the Map Editor for the very first time, considering you already have the game on Steam. We'll be teaching you how to open new maps, how to save maps, and how to create an editable file version of your map. I'm Raul from Team Reforma, and let's go ahead and get started. In order to open the map editor, we'll first need to grant us access to the game's console by editing a file within the documents folder. You go to documents and American Truck Simulator, and we're going to locate the file named config.cfg. You can open this file using your computer's notepad program, or I highly recommend downloading a program called Notepad++, for which I'll leave a link in the description below. In any case, let's go ahead and right click on the config.cfg file and open it with notepad++. We'll need to locate two parameters on this file. The first one being g underscore developer and changing it to two. So let's go ahead and search for that. There it is. And we'll change the zero to two. The next one's gonna be g underscore console, which will locate that and change the zero to a one. Let's go ahead and save and close this file. Our next step will be to actually open the editor. Now there's two ways to do this. There is a more simple way, well the original way, and then there's a better way, which we'll be teaching you in a bit. To open the editor, we'll first need to create a new shortcut for it. We're gonna go ahead and right click in our desktop, click new, and go ahead and open a new shortcut. Let's go ahead and add our directory to the game itself. Now I already have here in this notepad um, the link that we need to use, which is um, going through your program files, probably in x86. Now this considers you have Steam, so go Steam, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator, Bin, Win x86, and we're gonna be linking the actual truck, um, American Truck Simulator.exe. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And now, um, before we actually finish this though, there are some parameters that we need to add to the end of this, which uh, you'll also see on there. The first one being uh, dash edit, which will allow us to just open the editor as, as it is. And then the next one that we're gonna be adding there is going to be um, dash no workshop, which is great uh, because that will make it so that you cannot actually open the editor with any workshop mods because it just opens any mod that's already loaded in the game so you got to be a little careful about that as at all times that way your map mod doesn't accidentally require any workshop mods right so let's go ahead and click on okay and we'll change the name that we want here so let's go ahead and type something right here so once we're finished naming it let's go ahead and click finish and move aside this little window and let's go ahead and double click on our new shortcut right there so once we do that, you'll get some pop-ups from Steam. No worries. They're not an error or anything. Yeah, there we go. There it is. And um, click OK. And oh boy, how many hours do I have on this game? The other way to open the map editor would be to use Mandelsoft's Truck Simulator Launcher, which we highly recommend. Now, up on the top is the link, which we'll leave in the description in our YouTube video here. And if you scroll down, we'll go ahead and find the download link. We'll just go ahead and open it as we already have it downloaded. So up on top, we'll see it shows the game mode, which will allow us to run either a game, uh, the map editor of the game. Uh, next would be the mod activation, which we could choose if there's no workshop mods or if we would just want vanilla mode with no mods. Uh, next is the render engine, which uh, usually you want to pick DirectX 11. And this is where we specify the actual map that we're opening. Now we're gonna have to explain what an editable map mod is, which the, here's where you put that name. Though, if you'd like to just open the actual base map, what you would do is type USA on that box. Why don't do that? Uh, but we'll get into that a little in de details a little later. Now below here is where you could specify which DLCs you want to use. Um, and below, you could go ahead and launch ATS or ETS2, which makes this really, really cool. I must add that there is a difference between a playable map mod and an editable map mod, which for our editing needs, we'll mostly want to use um, editable map mods. We'll go into our mod folder here within the document slash American Truck Simulator. And uh, there should already be a mod in here. Let's go ahead and click it. 
there is. And normally these are in um, .scs formats, but here for simplicity, I just left that out as a folder just so that you could see it. Opening that map um, folder, it reveals a map subfolder. And within that is the actual mod itself. And you'll see the name here. If it doesn't say USA, it's most probably an editable map file. Let's go ahead and open an editable map mod here. So we already have the map editor open. It's normal. If you see a black or red screen, don't worry. Uh, you could either use the load icon there or you go file open, which doing so will reveal we already have an editable map mod there, which if we click the .mbd file, that'll go ahead and open the mod. So either double click or just hit open. Now the map is already open, but it looks like we can't see anything. So we'll go ahead and press the C key on your keyboard. That's C for cat. We get this view. You could move around or rotate with your with your moving your mouse, and you could also move around in space using the W A S D keys like in any other video game. Though it looks like we still can't see anything. Chances are we'll need to teleport somewhere. So in order to be able to do that, we'll have to open the console. To open the console, both in the map editor and in the game, you'd use a tilde button, which is on the top left of the, well, on the left of the one key and on the top of the tab key. You'll see that right here in a little graphic. We'll go ahead and open the console now and we'll use a command go to, and then you type the name of the city that you're going to. In this case, we're going to Las Cruces, New Mexico, which in, in the game's code, it's called just Cruces. So we'll type Cruces and press enter and it'll start loading in. Once done, we'll go ahead and press the tilde or the console button again on your keyboard. Now that the map's loaded, we could look around with your with moving your mouse uh, using the WASD keys as advised be uh, before. We can start moving around different spaces. And if you press the C key on your keyboard, um, let's go ahead and do that. And you could see a top down view. If you scroll up with the scroll wheel, you'll go forward and scroll back to go backwards. Now let's say you're starting off from scratch and you don't have any editable map file on your computer, no nothing, and you want to open the base map. So there is another way to be able to load that in. Say for example, you just want to edit something in the base map that you don't like. And uh, if we do that, that's gonna change things a little bit. So we'll go back out to our desktop here. So the name of the base map in the game is called USA. So we'll have to open that. And uh, we'll first open the, the PM tools here. And in this box here, you would type USA, which is what you're gonna be opening. And uh, say you don't wanna use it, which I don't understand why you wouldn't. We'll go ahead and right click, hit properties on our original shortcut here. And in the options that we had put on there, we're gonna go ahead and put dash edit USA. Everything else could be left, just, you know, dash edit USA. Let's go ahead and save by pressing OK. And let's double click, open. We'll get this little message again, no worries, press OK. Let the game load a little bit. And we'll be getting this black screen, most probably. So we'll have to go back into the console to teleport to somewhere else. Remember pressing the tilde key. And let's see, where are we going? We're gonna press go to, um, let's go to Vegas. So, we'll type that in. Well, hold on. <laughs> I forget the name of it, or I'm just bad at keyboarding, I guess. And let the map load in. Give it a little second. Depending on your computer, it will take a little longer, but there it is. And just look at that, I already feel like going. Why don't we make a quick change in the map just so I can show you how to save, right? So we're here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And let's just say that I really hate this sign and it should stop existing. So we'll go ahead and delete it. And before we actually continue, actually, I should show you where exactly the game saves its maps. We're here within our American Truck Simulator folder within our Steam Apps folder. And I'll leave this link in the description, by the way. And you might not have this. So if you don't have the base underscore map folder, please go ahead and create it. We'll go ahead and double click into it. Double click. And uh, within you should have the map folder. Again, if you don't have it, let's go ahead and create it. Double click in there. And this is where it will save all your maps. So right now we don't have anything. We'll go ahead and go back into the editor, 
to make sure we save. Now, we're going to use the save feature. Um, do not use the save as, at least in my experience so far, um, it kind of crashes if you use it. I don't know if that's a 1.39 thing at the moment. So we're just going to use save and it's going to save it using the USA name though. So we're going to go back and make sure to fix that, right? Once the map is saved, we'll see our new folders here created in our map folder. Um, there's all these, all these, but we really only need the USA folder and the usa.mbd file. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to say USA, but you know, you know what, what I mean, right? So let's go ahead and, our, and go into our USA folder, which contains the um, our sector information. Each sector has four files as you, you can see here. And of course, now the question is, what is a sector? So let's go back into the map editor to show that. I think I should explain this before, actually, now before we actually start. But um, if you don't see any vertice, um, you could move around using WASD keys and, and your mouse, as I explained before. But then to, to make changes or, you know, to actually start working on it, you press the space key and you get all these vertices. Again, press the space key and you can move around. So keep that in mind before we actually start. So to understand what sectors are, I highly recommend going to the top down view using the C key, C as in cat. We'll scroll out, scroll out a little bit using your scroll wheel. And you usually have to scroll out quite a bit to start seeing these though. So move around using holding the right um, mouse button. Let's see, and we're gonna be pressing the A key to toggle the view that we see under everything. So there are a couple toggles and you see that down there, you see both the sector name and you also see the, the map that SCS used to actually map this uh, out long, long ago. So you have to move around a little bit just to be able to see the, the sectors easier. So there we see sector 0014 plus 0008. And you could kind of, kind of see the borders as well. So those sector files that we saw before are for this. So if you have to really take care, you know, what, what sectors you're working on because in your map file, you really only want to save, um, you know, the specific sectors you worked in, right? You don't need to save the whole thing and then send that to everybody else because it's just going to make your map file much heavier than it really should be. So keep note of your sectors, especially if you're working with other people. This is super important and it'll also help you to know which ones we're going to be using. So in this case, for the, the file that we're going to be creating, I already know which sectors we're going to be using. They're the ones here in, in, in New Mexico. In, um, sorry, in Las Cruces. So I've written them down. I believe it's the 0013 plus, oh no, sorry, 14. Uh, but you no, know, I already have that. So we'll go ahead and skip on. Let's hop back into our folder that contains the sector information. And we're going to delete all the sectors that we don't actually need. Remember that you need to keep all four files referencing your sectors. So there's four files per sector. Delete the ones you don't need keep the ones you do need. So always keep that in track. So I only need the four on top there so I can select everything from the bottom, delete that, and we'll be left over with the four files that represent one and the one sector that I need. So we're gonna go ahead and now teach you how to create an actual editable map file, all right? In order to create the editable map file, I would highly recommend to download this little file here. Um, I've included a link to the description. It's a file that we created to be able to make it easier to create this. And um, let's go ahead and send this over to our uh, mod folder, the documents. And in order to open this kind of file, you will need something like WinRAR, which I've also included a link in the description. Um, you'll notice that the file type on this is .scs file. So you'll need WinRAR to open that. So I recommend you get that first, right? So let's go ahead and open that. Within the, the .scs file, we got you know the map information, we got the definitions file folder, and we also got uh, the manifest file, which this is important. Let's go ahead and open that. And within here, you can see all the relevant information of the mod, the you know the version it is, the name. Uh, you could also lock the mod to work with only a specific version of the game itself, or to work with certain DLCs. Um, and if you if you do this, it'll it'll show like a you know not compatible on your game, right? Uh, you could also uh, put in a description here. 
And the other thing in this folder right here, the map folder, we could also put in all of our um, map sectors, right? So we go back to this folder. Um, this is where we save the, the USA file. And we're going to have to bring these files over to our .scs file, but before we do so, we should change the name of these. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change this file to tutorial1. And then you also have to make sure to change the .mbd file. Um, so the names have to match. So tutorial1, let's go ahead and do that. Like so. So now within our tutorial one folder, we have all of our sector information. Double click and you see it right there. And we're going to have to make sure that we bring in our tutorial one folder with the sectors and the .mbd file to our map folder within the SCS file. So drag and drop, you get this. Let's make sure to hit store here on the compression mode. So store. And then we just hit OK. So I don't. Um, I think you'd get problems if you don't do that. So we've always done so. I recommend doing that. And with that, you'd be pretty much done. With our editable map file ready, let's go ahead and open that in the editor. Now I've already changed the parameters here. Remove the edit USA. Only left edits. So of course, it's a little different if you use the the. PM tools, right? So let's go ahead and hit open here. And if you did it correctly, you should see the .mbd file for your tutorial one mod here. So double click. And uh, in this case, we're loading in a, a black screen. You could press the A key to um, fill, uh, change the, the views. In this case, it's loading a red screen. You'll sometimes see this. And this is because it's missing the, the background uh, map that SES uses to make sure their, their map is correctly. So I'm just gonna press A again. Pressing C, I changed the, the view, and well, there's nothing. So let's go ahead and teleport to where we were. So I'm gonna open the, the console with the, the tilde button, tilde key, and go to um, Las Cruces again. That's where, where we had it edited. And give it a little second to load in here. Sometimes, you know, depending on your computer, you'll see something different. And let's go to where we remove that pesky little sign. And there we go, so sign's gone. Everything was saved correctly, and we're good. And um, just, to, just to reiterate, you could use this the, the PM tools again. Well, I call it PM tools. And right there, right here, you could specify the name of the, of the, of the mod. I'm putting in tutorial one. And hit launch ATS. And this time, it should load the map directly without, you know, without having to hit open. You'll probably still see a black screen, but in this case, it loaded correctly, so... It's a, it could be a little weird. Sometimes after a while, to just show it correctly. Hit save, and you're good to go. And um, now that you you've um, you hit save, if we go back to where it saves the maps, um, you'll see that it's now creating the tutorial one folder and the tutorial one .mbd. So it's a little easier to you know to save here. So if we go back to our .scs file, the one that contains you know our our, our map information, double click it. Um, Go ahead and, and double click on the map folder here. Um, you could just drag and drop what you have from, you know, where it saves the maps. Make sure to press store and uh, exit out of that. And with that, you should be ready. And with that, you should now have all the necessary knowledge to be able to open the map editor and get everything saved. Coming up next, we'll be showing how to actually work on the map editor and all the good fun stuff to be able to get your adventure started. I recommend hitting the subscribe button if you don't want to miss that, and if you like the video, go ahead and like. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.